What's up, everybody? This is Eric Meads Computer Solutions. So I'm live here. Happy hour stream, like I always do every Tuesday night. I want to say what's up to everybody. Uh, and as y'all guys know, I do this live stream every Tuesday. Kind of chill out, have some fun with you guys. I'm out here uh, again at the uh, Tiki Bar and having some fun. I got my drink on deck and uh, I'm going to chop it up with you guys for a little while. And I have some fun. I like I like I, I like live streaming. Like you know, um, you know, we always have us some fun. When we live stream. Today's topic uh, is that uh, you know the Galaxy Note 10, and iPhone 11, and uh, the Pixel 4 are they gonna be the top dogs of, of 2019? Let's go to and discuss. Let's have some fun. Um, first of all, let me know how the audio is. Shout out to Armadillo Tech. I I'm rolling with the new mic. And I uh, got the mic pinned on me. And uh, so let me know. Let me know uh, how the audio is uh, right now. If y'all guys checking it out, let me know down in the comments. Uh, so what's going on, everybody? You know, uh, what's up with I see the new, uh, I see it's the first person, first person here, RC Flies 85. What's up with you? Um, right now I need to take a nap before work. <laughs> Who would it do, man? Yeah, I'll take your nap before going to work. I understand that. What's up, big dog? I see you in the building. What's happening with you? Yeah, just chilling, hanging, ha having some fun. We're going to talk about uh, the Pixel 4, man. We done heard all the rumors. Uh, oh, it's a little hollow. It's a hollow. Okay, I'm using a new mic. Uh, I'm using a new mic. What's up with you? Voice is good. Thank you very much. I'm using a new mic. I got it pinned on my shirt so I don't have to talk so loud. Now, it may be hollow because I'm under this, uh, I'm under this pavilion, like this, uh, you know, I'm under this little thing here. I, I actually hear, I actually hear a hollow, uh, as I'm talking. So yeah, I'm, I'm under the little umbrella here. And, uh, so I do hear a little hollow. What's up with Jack Brown in the building? How you doing today? Man, get ready to head home. All right, all right, all right. Audio check. All right, thank you very much. What's up, Corey? I see y'all in the building. What's going on? How y'all doing today? Mmm. Having some fun? What's up with you? I see you. That's right. The tech preacher is here. Now, one of the things I want to discuss with you guys is that, you know, out of all these phones that's coming out in 2019, right? The three top dogs right now, even when the Pixel is not even out, in the tech community, everybody anticipating on the Pixel, the Pixel 4. But right now, the top dogs has got to be the Galaxy Note and the iPhone 11. Now, we have seen today, we've seen today that uh, a lot of people have been doing a lot of unboxings of the iPhone 11. So all the unboxings of the iPhone 11 is out today. Uh, so a lot of, lot of tech reviewers have been uh, unboxing the green one. And... Uh, what y'all guys think about that? I mean, it is what it is. Like Apple really trying to, you know, do something here. I mean, I know we discussed about 64 gigabytes is, is, you know, terrible, but you know what, at the end of the day, I think Apple, you know, Apple go keep on doing 64 gigs to tell people stop buying them. But as long as people buying them, I think they go continue to do it. Uh, the Galaxy Note 10, uh, getting my attention over the iPhone. Yeah, you know what? I think the Galaxy Note 10 uh, is a very good phone. Um, yeah, Apple is so dumb for that. Yeah. And you know what, TK? I think what Apple is doing is that as long as people are willing to, you know, do 64 gigs at the base storage and utilize services, like if, if you look at the services that Apple is using, like uh, I, you know, iCloud and everything, if you pay about $4.99 a month, you get like 50 gigs of iCloud. Um, you know, and everybody that's streaming music and, and watching movies that's streaming is not really putting too much uh, stuff on their phone. 64 gigs is, is, is perfectly fine. That, that's what Apple believes. iPhone 11 Note 10 are uh, this year's champs. Pixel can't win the public uh, with that big old, big old forehead. You know what? I agree with you. Like, I think that the Pixel will come out with that big forehead and, and a little bit of chin. And I think a lot of people uh, might look at something like the Galaxy Note 10 or the iPhone and be like, eh. I mean, even though the iPhone has a notch, uh, I think in, in, you know, 
look, here's the thing. In 2020, there's no need for a notch. I mean, even with the teardrop notch and the U-shaped notch and all that stuff like that, I don't think that uh, in 2020 you're going to see that. I don't think in 2020 you're going to see notches. This is the last year of notches. Thank God, right? Remember in 2018, they introduced the notch, and everybody was like, God, it's ugly design, ugly this, ugly that. Then I, now all of a sudden, um, you know, in, in, in 2020, which is two years later, uh, once we get to 2020, I don't think you're going to see no notches. Uh, shout out to Armadillo Tech. I'm using a new mic uh, right now. And uh, it's the first time y'all guys telling me that the audio is, it sounds good. Uh, thank y'all guys very much. I want to give a huge shout out to Armadillo Tech uh, for sending me out this good, classy lavender mic. It came with a nice little pretty pouch. Inside the pouch, I got uh, they, look, they give you a, a day cat. Dead cat in a in, in a box, man. That, that's uh, whew, that's nice and sweet. I think the picture gonna do good though. I think the picture picture for for content creators or, or for tech enthusiasts, uh, we hearing that they gonna put six gigs of RAM in it. Hey, that's good, right? So we are gonna hit six gigs of RAM. I think we are gonna be all right, man. I think the picture gonna do do good. Um, I think the picture gonna do really good. Let's see. Uh, it took me days to get use of that notch on the LG G8. You listen, man. And the truth to be told, uh, the video y'all guys saw today, right, of, of the uh, the red Galaxy Note 10. Um, oh, I'm using the Galaxy Note 10. Yeah, what phone I'm using right now? I'm using the Galaxy Note 10, uh, and I got the other Galaxy Note 10 here. So I got two Galaxy Note 10s. Uh, so I got well two Galaxy Note 10 Pluses. The one I'm streaming with right now, and I got the Galaxy Note 10 Plus right here. Uh, so if y'all saw the video today, um, y'all guys, yeah, you gotta use a dongle. You gotta use a dongle. So I'm using a dongle with the um, with the with the with the mic. Unfortunately, you know we don't have a headphone jack. So I'm using a dongle with the Lavender mic uh, on the Galaxy Note 10, 10 Plus. Uh, so that's what I'm using right now. Good evening. Good evening to you. What's good with you? I see you in the building. What's good with you? If you are new to the live stream, uh, I do these happy hour streams every week. Well, I've been, I started doing it every week. So I'm doing my live streams every week now. Uh, I, I call this the happy hour stream. Don't, uh, don't forget that I got the regular stream tomorrow. So I got my, my regular live stream tomorrow. Uh, yes. Hmm. Peaceful greetings. Yes, thank you. Uh, yes, dongle life. It is a dongle life going on right now. Hey, my only problem um, is it, my iPhone 11 coming uh, Friday. Nah, I didn't. I didn't pre-order no iPhone. I mean, I might go pick it up Friday, but um, I I don't pre-order no more, man. Um, you know, I, I just wait till the phone come out. Now, I don't have no good relationship. I, well, I don't have a relationship period with Apple uh, to get review units. So I, I probably won't get the iPhone until, I mean, next month sometime. It's no rush. And the only reason, the only thing that I'm going to do when I get the new iPhone, truthfully, is do a lot of camera reviews. Um, but other than that, I get an iPhone every year, but I never do videos about it. Like, I got iPhone XS Max, I got, you know, iPhone 8, iPhone X, iPhone XR. I got all the iPhones, but I, I never make videos about them. I just got them sitting, you know, on my on my table for, I use them for props. So I, I, I buy all the iPhones and, and pretty much I use them for props. So um, uh, my only complaint uh, with Bluetooth headsets is uh, most of them don't last that long. Now, here's the thing. I, I got Master Dynamic headphones and things last forever. Uh, so... I know my Mastic and, and Dynamic headphones and a lot of Bluetooth headphones that I review on this channel. Uh, I don't use those. The only headphones I use is the Mastic Dynamics. Uh, and they, they they run all day. I don't have no problem with battery life out of the Mastic Dynamics. Now, granted that they cost a grip, right? They, they, they probably one of the most expensive headphones out there. But, I mean, they, they look good. They sound good. And uh, the battery life is pretty good on them. Uh, so, um even though it's a good phone uh, all the way around. Yeah, it's a good phone. I think uh, the camera 
it's the only thing to talk about uh, with this year's iPhone. And that's the whole thing. That's why I'm not, I am not like rushing to get the, get, get the new iPhone. I, I, I'm, I'm going to get it. Um, but I'm a, you know, I'm just only getting it for camera reviews. Like, you know, I'm, is that, well, it all depends. If, if, if Filmic Pro get yanked out the, uh, out the Android app store, then I would have to switch to an iPhone. Uh, but if uh, Filmic Pro doesn't get yanked out of the app store, which we hear rumors that Filmic Pro will get yanked out of the Android app store. I don't know how true that is. I know me and TK talked about it on his stream. Uh, he said he got viable evidence that uh, Filmic Pro will will probably leave the Android app store. If, 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 and it, listen, if that happens, I will probably switch to, to, to an iPhone. I, I'm always going to keep an Android phone, but I probably go straight filming on a iPhone, uh, you know, because of Filmic Pro. Listen, I'm stuck on Filmic Pro. I, 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 that's a, uh, the most professional app uh, that I can work with that works very well. Now, we have the Moment app uh, that works good. And uh, I think with the iPhone 11 with the, uh, the stovetop stuff and lens, you could get the Moment um, lenses right perfectly on that on the iPhone. So, um, yeah, I think I think uh, the Moment lenses go be perfect on the iPhone. So it, uh, everybody, you know, uh, easy. Keep a nice beverage. Uh, stay dehydrated, bro. Yeah, look, I am happy out right now. Um, it, it is hot, and uh, I got my uh, my beverage of choice. Mm. Uh, do you think I should hold on to the S10 Plus and wait to the S11 drop? Um, and how you feel about the Galaxy Buds? I I made a video about the Galaxy Buds. Um, the Galaxy Buds is nice. Uh, it sounds better than the Apple AirPods, AirPods, right? Uh, the uh, the sound quality is good for 130 bucks. Uh, I think the sound quality is a one for that price point. Now I've got the Jobbers. Uh, I got the Jobbers T, the six T's or nine T's or whatever. Uh, they sound really good. I think those sound a little better than the um, the Galaxy Buds. Uh, but I don't know. I, I'm trying to see if I, I can get the Master Dynamics uh, earbuds because they Master Dynamics came out with theirs. So I'm gonna see if I can get those and, and review them for you. What Snapdragon is coming for the Samsung Galaxy S11? I think it's going to be 865. And let me answer the question about the S11 Plus. Now, here's the thing. I got the S11 Plus. I, I, made, I made a lot of videos about the S11 Plus. Um, if you're not a Galaxy Note fan, like if you don't use the S Pen, if, if the S Pen is not, uh, you don't use the S Pen, listen, the, the Galaxy S10, that Galaxy S10 Plus is a fantastic phone to keep. Galaxy S10 Plus is a keeper. I wouldn't think about no other phones until 2020 if you got a Galaxy S10 Plus. Now, even though the Pixel might be tempting, I don't know, man. I don't think I don't think the Pixel will be a device that will make me give up my Galaxy S10 Plus unless you like software updates. Um, because with live focus and everything with the Galaxy S10, it, you you could you could you know cameras will be comparable. Now, none of them got Pro mode. So you ain't got, I mean, you ain't got to worry about that. None of them got Pro Bowl. So as far as the cameras, I think they're going to be comparable. Uh, but I wouldn't, I would not give up my Galaxy S10 Plus uh, until next year. You good. I, I, I know, look, here's the thing. We go through this every year. People buy like the, the Galaxy phones early. And now we, you know, three quarters of a year. And now you got all these good tempting phones that's out. And it's tempting, man. I know it's tempting. Listen. Every time I buy a new phone, every time I get a new phone, it's tempting. I really do. It's tempting, like, to get a new phone. You know, but at the end of the day, if you already got everything you need on your Galaxy phone, you got the storage, you got all your apps, it, it works good for you. The cameras are perfect. It's no reason to get no other phone, bro. Like, I'm just going to be real with you. The only Listen, man, I am a YouTube tech reviewer. Let's make sure we understand the difference. I'm a YouTube tech reviewer. So my job is to review product. So you see me with a lot of phones. You see me reviewing a lot of phones. And it's always good to watch and see all the footage that I make and other people make. But at the end of the day, if you already invested over $1,000 in your phone, it's no need to upgrade. It's like if you bought a Galaxy S10 Plus, it's no need to upgrade. Same thing with the OnePlus 7, uh, 
7 Pro, right? I mean, think about it. And most people just got their OnePlus 7 uh, devices. And I mean, OnePlus 7 Pro. It's no need. Listen, it, they could put the Snapdragon 8, uh, 855 plus processor, you know, 12 gigs of RAM and all that stuff. It's it, 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 it going to be the same phone. Like, you know, this phone will be a good phone. Now, here's the thing. With the Pro, whatever they're doing, the, uh, the, the circular uh, camera lens, I don't like that. So I'm cool that I, I like this lens. So I'm good with that. I, I think I think that the OnePlus Seven T, let it come out. Like most people that got the OnePlus Six T, you you if you own that T version, you good, right? The OnePlus Six T, and if you go into a OnePlus Seven T, you good, you good. I think that you'd be fine if you upgrade with the T version. But everybody that's going to get the hey, listen, hey, listen, think about this: the OnePlus Seven T go come out the beginning of the next month. Right. Right in February or January of next year, if we talk about like four months away, the one plus eight go come out. So just be mindful of what you about to buy. Just be mindful that you it, once you buy the, the one plus seven T, right, four months, the one plus eight coming out. So, I mean, just be ready for it. Like it, it, one plus dropping phones every four to six months. So as soon as you buy your shiny new device, it's already old. It's because OnePlus dropped two phones a year. You go get a phone in January, February, then you go get a phone in uh, October. So you get two phones a year. So uh, for anybody that that's that want to get a T version, that's fine. But you know, I wouldn't be buying the 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 seven Pro, then the seven Pro T, then buy the eight, then the eight Pro T. And all that. I mean, you'd be buying two phones a year. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if you want to get a, a, a if you got a OnePlus 6T and you and you want to stay on the T version, I, I would say, you you know, go ahead on it and, and roll with it like that. Um, I, I would say roll with it like that. I only buy a phone if I really want want it. And that's I, I that's that that's what I'm talking about. Uh, what do you think about the the uh, the OnePlus? And listen, here's the thing. Everybody trying to get into services. Phones is, listen, people ain't upgrade like people you think. Listen, we all, all, all of us on here is tech, re, tech enthusiasts, right? We're all tech enthusiasts on here. So, yeah, we buy a product. But the average consumer, they'll roll with a phone till the wheels fall off. You know what I'm saying? They'll roll to the phone till the wheels fall off. Um, I need that pink note 10. Hook me up. <laughs> Look, the, the, the note came out the box like this. It, it came out the box like that. Look, I I, I want to give a shot. The person that, the, that sent it to me, they don't want me to disclose that information. Uh, I want to give them a huge shout out. Uh, but, I, you know, it, it's all good. It, it's, it's, it's not even about a shout out. It's about, hey, they, they, they want to bless the hard work that I do on this YouTube channel. That's all it is. Yeah, I did just wanna they just wanna bless. They just wanna bless the hard work that I do on this YouTube channel. And I I, I feel humble. I feel humble uh that I I, I have an opportunity to uh, to get a lot of custom stuff and I get a lot of things and stuff like that. And I, I just feel good that I work hard and I try to do a lot of things here on this YouTube channel that you know people Say, you know what, easy, you work hard. This is for you. I don't want you to tell nobody. You, it ain't even, you could tell them you bought it. I, you know, it is what it is, but I, I want to I wanna bless you. And I, I, I feel good about that. I really do. I, 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 it's, it's so humbling that when you stay real, you start real, you maintain real, being real, then real things happen for you. I always tell people that all the time. People hate me, but I stay real all the time. I started this channel real. I, the way I am, you see me on the street is the way I am. You know, uh, when when a lot of people when a lot of people meet me out, you know, uh, in public and they know who I am. They're on YouTube. I, I'm I'm cool as a fan. Like you know, what I'm saying I'm I'm chill. Like I'm the same person. People call me the tech preacher. They they call me the tech preacher in in, in public. It's all good. I ain't tripping. You know, what I'm saying I'm a humble person. And, I, you know, I, I, I'm going to continue to be, you know, all I could be. And I'm going to work hard to strive hard to do what I got to do. You see what I'm saying? Um, 
what's up with your unlocker drawing? E easy. Does Apple need a 120 hertz display on the iPhone 2020? Here's the thing. Apple need to probably put a 90 hertz display on it first. I doubt if Apple do a 120 hertz display. The Apple don't do that. Like, you got to remember who Apple is. Apple don't do that type of stuff. Apple don't uh, do that. They just don't do that. Yeah, Apple don't do that. I wouldn't see... Uh, I wouldn't see Apple doing that uh, easy out there filming trees and, and, and which, which, yeah, look, um, I like which, which, by the way, if y'all didn't know, I, I, I eat at which, which a lot. I got introduced to which, which about uh, six months ago. And I, I, every time I, every time I, um, I want to eat a sandwich, I go to which, which uh, vote easy for president. Now I did listen. I just want to, all right, so here's the thing. I don't want to be voted for president. I just want to get to 100,000 subscribers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get me to 50,000 subscribers first, but I want to get to 100,000 subscribers. Uh, and that's that's what what I want to do. So it's like baby steps. Uh, it's baby steps for me. Uh, and so uh, 50,000 subscribers, you know, uh, that's that's my my goal in the next two or three months, right? At least by the end of this year, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna hit fifty thousand subscribers. Hopefully before December. Uh, that's my goal. The the channel is doing very good, guys. Just want y'all to know, channel is doing very good. Uh, it, things are things looking good. Things working working very very well. Oh, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for for the super chat. Uh, thank you. Let's see. Okay, for real. Got to put the the phone down. Uh, yeah, you got to put the phone down. You got to get some rest. I really do appreciate the super chat. Thank you very much. Yeah, shout out to El Hefty. He had 20,000 subscribers. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, the traffic on the channel is nice. Uh, the traffic on the channel is nice. I mean, it's not like groundbreaking, right? I mean, I'm not getting like stupid, crazy type views. But the traffic on the channel is 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 nice. I, I really do appreciate the the traffic on the channel. It is. Uh, hit the like button, y'all. Yes, hit the like button. Welcome to Happy Hour. Mm. Easy need to be at fifty thousand subscribers before November. So here's the thing: unlock um, custom droid. Um, I'm going to put the work in. Like, y'all know I'm going to put the work in. I need you guys' help to help me get to that light. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so I always express to my viewers and subscribers to, to help me get to the next level. Uh, and because I can't do it by myself. I'm going to put the work in. I, I, listen, I, I'm going to put the work in. I just, you know, you, somehow you say you can't do it by yourself. I, it's no I in team. So since I know it's no I in team, I can't do it by myself. So that's why I always instill in my viewers that, you know, I need help because, I mean, again, I can't do it by myself. Uh, let's see. I'm getting a notification every time you post a video uh, instead of coming to your channel. Wait, I get a notification every time you post a video instead of coming to your channel. Okay, easy. With two phones and three gimbals, I got more than three gimbals. Um, I got like five gimbals, and I, I am about to pick up a crane. Uh, I'm about to pick up a crane gimbal. Uh, so I, I'm about to invest in a big gimbal. So that's gonna be pretty interesting. Um, I won't, I, I because. I am about to do something different, all right? I got something coming up in a, in a few months uh, that uh, is going to be pretty exciting, guys. Uh, so stay tuned, man. As, as the channel progresses, a lot of things happening, and y'all guys are going to be the first to see it. Uh, what's the best lesson you learned from my channel? And you know what? I, I talk about this a lot, and um, I might make a podcast just uh, dedicated to this. 
the lesson that I learned doing YouTube is that you can't get beat down by trolls, right? You can't get beat down by haters. You cannot get beat down by listening to what people tell you to do. Uh, you have to put your put a budget together. A lot of mistakes I made, all right? Always remember that you don't have to be first at a lot of things. Um, you don't have to be first at a lot of things. I made a I made some terrible mistakes in the past. Um, I, I I believe that I believe that you know you you make a lot of mistakes. You know. Uh, hold on a second. Let me see. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 I. 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 I just got. I just got some on Telegram. Okay. What's up with your cousin in the building? I'm using the Galaxy Note 10. All right. So let me finish telling y'all guys about the the mistakes that I've made here. Now, I tomorrow you're gonna probably hear the same story because uh, if, if I'm not mistaken, I'm booked. To, to, to be interviewed on another YouTube channel tomorrow night. Uh, so it, all details, any details, guys, I will let you know tomorrow. All right. I think I am. I think I'm booked for a full fledged interview on another channel tomorrow. Uh, somebody that, that's not in the community. Somebody just is somebody totally different things down for the super chat. Uh, but I, I made a bunch of mistakes uh, doing YouTube. Um, and it's, this is one of the reasons why I tell people, um, this is, thank, thank, thank you very much. This is one of the reasons why I tell people the advice that I give them, because listen, I cannot give you advice if I haven't lived it or, or, or been through it. Like how could, how could a person tell you, give you advice about your marriage when they never been married? How could a person tell you how to make money when they don't have money? How could a, in, in a financial buying, how could a person tell you how to fix a car, a certain kind of car, but they ain't never done it? See, it's all about testimony, right? My testimony. And I think for me, you know, I think I, for the last three and a half, four years, I've made some devastating mistakes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I've been through it and I've gotten over it and I fixed it. Listen, man, let me tell you something. Running a YouTube channel, this, this, this make sure we understand the course that I do. I run a YouTube channel. I, I run a business. I, uh, I run my social media. All right, my last week of school, for everybody that didn't know, I'm graduating with number three. Uh, and y'all guys go see that too, that uh, I am walking across the stage again uh, for another degree. Uh, thank God, two years, Whew, done. It's, uh, it's one of those things that I believe that if you want to succeed in life, you can't succeed sitting in the bed all day, not putting the grind in, not being smart about it. Y'all guys know that if y'all know me, I'm up late. I get up early. I work late. I believe that uh, no matter what, a closed mouth can't get fed, right? So... I get up early in the morning. I work hard, grind hard. I have to strategize a lot of things that I got to do. Uh, I work very, 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 very hard on trying to give you guys the best content. Uh, it's a lot of things. It's a lot of th things that I really want to do. I'm limited, right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you think about it. I'm the, I'm the filmmaker. I'm the editor. Uh, I, I am the producer. I'm everything all into one. So 
I'm the one that have to film everything. I have to, to, to come up with the ideas. I have to edit everything. I have to market myself, right? I have to put myself on social media. It's a lot of things that I do every day, nonstop, every day. And I try to stay positive and pumped up about it. And I just kind of keep it moving. So um, my journey on YouTube is just the beginning. Listen, man, I, I, I feel in 2019, this was a, a refreshing beginning for me. I relabeled myself, right? I, I changed the channel around a little bit. Uh, I, I started doing things a lot different. Uh, y'all guys see me coming together with a lot of uh, smaller content creators. Uh, y'all see me uh, doing a lot of things differently, right? I, 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 I have myself available to help other people. So, you know, that's one of the things that I, I want to continue to do here on this YouTube channel is it's because, listen, man, it's, this YouTube channel is not about me. It's about you guys. I just what I think about when I make videos, same thing. I made the tablet video, right? Listen, don't get me wrong. Vankyo uh, hit me up on e in the email. They love the video, right? But I just kept it real. And this is the whole thing that I, I want to stress to you guys. You don't have to sell your soul just because you get free product. I, I mean, the tablet, you know, I talked about the, you know, uh, uh, the, 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 the lagginess with it, uh, the performance issues with it, uh, stuff like that. I mean, I didn't call it trash. Like, you know what I'm saying? I kept it 100. I kept it professional. But uh, again, I, I've kept it real 100%. And, you know, they appreciate that even though they probably didn't want me to say the performance issues with this that bad on the device, I say D minus at best, right? But at the end of the day, you keep it real. You keep it real, keep it 100, and you will survive. Uh, yes. Thank you, Don. I appreciate it. I see y'all guys. And don't listen, Gadget Chats. Don't forget about uh, Gadget Chats. We'll be dropping a, um, a podcast. Yeah, Gadget Chats be dropping their podcast. That's what's up. I'm listen. I'm proud of Kimmy, and I'm proud of Catwoman. You know, it, it it's it's so humbling, and, and so I'm so proud to see what they're doing. And it's not. It's I'm not taking credit. Y'all know. Y'all guys never heard heard me say. Well, if it was me, it, it was because of me that they where they at. No, listen. I never take credit for all that. I don't. It's not about taking credit it's about taking people to the next level like i really appreciate that they're doing their own thing i really appreciate that they came together as a team i really appreciate that they're doing what they have to do man let me tell you something that is so humbling to see what they're doing right now um they, in 2020 it's gonna be fantastic for them uh no doubt no doubt that it's gonna be fantastic for them and i support them 100 percent. i support them 100 percent uh but let's get back into uh the tech stuff right uh, let's see i don't think that the google pixel 3 will not be the best uh the iphone 11 pro cameras now you, look here's the thing we'll not beat the iphone 11 camera you know what here's the thing uh here's the thing i think that the iphone 11 pro camera is going to be great but the pixel Right, the picture has always been the one that has the better still footage, right? The better still footage, and, and now the sun's starting to hit me a little bit over here. See if I can turn a little bit over a little bit. Let's see if I can turn a little bit. Yeah, sun tearing me up right now. Yeah, let me see if I can turn a little bit. Uh, just sub, just sub the gadget chats. Thank you very much. Um. Yes. Hmm. Tech loving mom in the building. Tech loving mom, what's up? Um. But yeah, we have a lot of things to discuss. Now, I did not get, I did not get, uh, the invite to the Guru event. All right, that's in New York. Now, here's the thing. If I get an invite to the Google event, I will. I, I probably will go. Um, so just be on the lookout. I haven't got. I haven't got the invite yet. But uh, if I get an invite, I will go. So just so y'all know, uh, I like to be transparent with you guys. 
I did not get I did not get an invite to the Google event. What's up with you? Thank you for checking in. I saw a camera comparison video with the Pixel 4 and versus the iPhone XS Max. The Pixel 4 killed it. But here's the thing. Like, the Pixel 4 is not out yet. So what you're seeing right now is pre-production units uh, with not, without final software. So it, it, I guess with the final software, it's going to be better, right? I guess. We got to wait and see. What's up, Alpha? Man, long time. If y'all didn't know Alpha, man, you know I me. Mean? He, you know, he, he, he the king of tech. That's my man. My man. <laughs> what up, Alpha? Yes, I see y'all in the building. Now, I think that the, the picture full is going to be okay. I really do. I think the picture full is going to be fine. It all depends on the price. The pr Listen, people could talk about a lot of things. But if the price is right, I think everything will be all right. They can't look at six ninety nine for the iPhone eleven. The Pixel four got to be six ninety nine or below. Now the Pixel four XL could can be you know close to the thousand dollar price point, but the Pixel four cannot be seven fifty. Cannot be eight hundred. Um, this joint hate to miss your live stream. No, you good. Uh, thank you for joining. I've only been on here 30 minutes. Um, yeah. So I think that the Pixel 4, uh, and here's the thing. It, it, it's, I think that the Pixel design, um, I think the Pixel design is Ah, the iPhone design is, I, 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 I keep saying it, but the, the iPhone design and the Pixel design is, is less to be desired for. But, hey, it is what it is. Let's see. That orange back looks weird on the Pixel 4. D, that's what I'm talking about, D. Lee, look, man, I, I'm, I'm with you on that one. The, the, I that, I don't know, man. I'm I'm ah. Uh, I think they also that they're gonna drop the Pixel Eight. Ooh, okay. But here's the thing. Okay, so let's talk about the Pixel Four A. If the Pixel Four is going to be around the six ninety nine price point going against the iPhone Eleven, that's great news for the Pixel Four A because we should know. That the Pixel 4a should be hovering the, around the 379 price point and the 499 price point for the XL. That'd be Gucci. Now it all depends on how Google go put the chipset in. They got to go with the 710 processor. They cannot go with no 660 and all that because they we already got the 600 series processors already. Right? Wait, this is a 710 and a 660. Hold on, you let me know down in the comments. Doesn't the Pixel 3a got the 710? Hold on. It's a 710 or a 660. Hold on. Let, let, let me know down in the comments below. Isn't it Pixel 3a got the 710? Oh, it's a 660. Okay. All right. That means that they got to put the 710. I'm cool with that. 660. All right. Oh, 670. Uh, 670. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. That means that they got to put... That means... That that means that they got to put the seven ten. They have to they have to go to seven. And look, truth to be told, the seven ten is a is a fantastic processor. You're talking about like close to the eight forty five type of uh, performance. That's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be awesome. You know, but here's the thing: they're gonna put four gigs of RAM in it, and that that concerns a lot of people. You know, seven seven ten with four gigs of RAM. Dip, you know what? I would I would agree with you. Might as well put the 845 in it. I I would agree with you, but here's the problem. If they if they put the 845 in it, people gonna be calling foul. Or oh, you put a two-year old processor in it. So they 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 got to put the 710 in it. If 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 they do it, uh if they do it, they have to do the 710 
if they put if they put this 845 process in it, people go call file, man. You know how it is. Y'all know, you know, when the tech guards go say, what's the first thing the tech guards go say? Well, Google is using two-year-old technology in a phone. Even though the 845 is a great processor, one of the best processors out there. But if Google use it on the Pixel 4a, people go call file. They go call file, bro. That's that it's a shame. Like, you know, I, I would take any mid-tier phone, any mid-tier phone with an 845. Think about it. All your flagships from 2018 had 845s. I mean, look, they was outperforming everything. So if your mid-tiers could be with the 845, that'd be that'd be great. That'd be great. Yes. With the 845, that would uh, kill the use of the Pixel 3. Well, here's the thing. They're going to probably weave out the, the Pixel 3 anyway. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I agree with you that it's going to hurt the Pixel 3, but taking it that the Pixel 3 going to be 2018, and if they, if they push out the Pixel 4 like they did with the Pixel 3a in 2020, then if they put the 845, I mean, nobody really buying no Pixel 3. So, I don't know. I I, I, I agree with you, though. I, I, you know, it's just so strange, man. It's like, you know, people get upset that Samsung did put the 845 plus processor. And all, all the 845 plus processor is the overclock processor. That's it. Now, truth to be told, if you if you can uh, root and boot the Galaxy Note, just go on get an un unlock kernel and overclock it. If you want an 855, all you got to do is get an unlock kernel and overclock it. And there you go. You're going to have an 855 plus processor. If you want an 855 plus processor, all you got to do is overclock it. Um, the uh, the Pixel 3 is going to be discontinued. And th that's what I'm saying. Like, they go discontinue it. Uh, they go discontinue it. Uh, it hurt Google bottom line and help consumer looking for a great phone at a great price. Well, I don't know. Mm. So what I'm thinking, they're going to be uh, put the price of the Pixel 4 at 699 base Pixel, uh, Pixel A, 399, Pixel 4 XL, 899, base price, uh, base Pixel, uh, 4A XL, Four ninety nine. Uh, you know what? That I think they're gonna do that. So what you're saying is exactly the price point where Google need to do it. Now we keep on hearing, and I keep on saying that the Pixel Four XL gonna be a thousand bucks. Eight ninety nine. I think more like nine ninety nine for the Pixel Four XL. I, I just have this feeling that Google will go ahead because they could, you know. Y'all know how y'all know how this works, man. I think the Google Pixel will be nine ninety nine, the four XL. Now, I would agree on the Pixel four A being three ninety nine and four ninety nine, but the Pixel four six ninety nine and nine ninety nine. I, I think I, even all right. So here's the thing: even if the base model Pixel is at eight ninety nine, I bet you they're going to do something like. Six gigs of RAM at nine ninety nine. I think they go. I, I think they go do like six or eight gigs of RAM at nine ninety nine. Or uh, if you need, if you need, because you know Pixels don't have storage options uh, as far as memory cards. So if you want to get a one two uh, one twenty eight, uh, if you if you if you get a one twenty eight or uh, two fifty six Pixel, it's gonna be over the one thousand dollar price point. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's going to be over one thousand dollar price point. I see the Pixel Four is going to give, uh, it, it, up, uh, given all the added technology, uh, and they're throwing in there. Yeah, I think I think the Pixel Four that the Pixel uh, Google is going to throw everything that they need to throw in there and 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 you know deal with that. I think it's going to be a thousand bucks though. I still I still believe that the Pixel Four XL, one hundred twenty eight gigs or maybe two fifty six gonna be a thousand bucks you know I, I think that's what it is all right so 
Ah, I'm, I'm, y'all see me shifting because I'm trying to get out the sun. Shout out to Armadella Tech. Uh, I'm using a wire. I'm using uh, the mic he sent me out. He blessed me with a, with a mic and I'm using it. Y'all guys said it, it sounds pretty good. Now, a lot of people say it's hollow. I do sound hollow because I'm under the umbrella. So, uh, you think it's seven ninety nine? Hmm. It's saying seven ninety nine. Okay. Seven ninety nine. What y'all guys think? Uh, I gotta leave. Thank you. I appreciate it, Jack, in the building. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Google would just pass the radar technology cost to the consumer. I agree. And that's why I'm thinking that it's gonna be. High is it's gonna be high. It's gonna be high price. You know? Now here's the thing for all the Google coverage, because they're gonna live stream it. And after the live stream, uh after the live stream of the Google event, I will have a live stream on my channel and we go discuss, like we do with every every event. We come here and we go discuss. We're gonna talk about the good, the bad, the ugly. We're gonna talk, we go, we go talk about it. Like it ain't nothing nice. We gonna talk about it. Hey, I agree with you on this one. Ten ninety nine for the for the uh, Pixel Four XL for the high storage option. Yes, Apple put that price on the uh, eleven down. Do you think this might force other brands to do the same? <sighs> yeah. See, here's the thing. Anytime Apple do something, headphone jack, right? Soon as Apple got rid of headphone jack, everybody get rid of headphone jack. As soon as Apple put the notch, and we all cried, we all cried foul about the notch, right? Everybody did the notch, except Samsung. Well, I'm sorry, Samsung did the notch too because they got the V and the U. Yeah, so Samsung got the notch too. So and uh, and plus the little circle in the middle of the uh, the Galaxy Note. So when Apple did the notch. Everybody did notches. Apple got rid of headphone jack. Everybody got rid of headphone jack. So if Apple go down on their price, hmm, everybody might go down on their mid-tier prices. Because here's the thing. I, I talk about this. If the LG come out with the LG G9 at a $1,000 price point, who will buy it? I mean... That's the thing. Like, I mean, even if the Galaxy, the Galaxy uh, S11, you know, I don't know, man. Uh, the 11 is Apple's mid-range phone. The 11 Max is still priced as 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 premium. Yeah, I agree with you. Like, the 11 is priced as premium. It is priced at premium. Somebody say uh, 849. Well, we'll know in a couple of weeks. Well, wait. Wow, that's, yeah, in about three weeks. But it's so crazy. Like, we got the, uh, the, the uh, what is that, the OnePlus event. We got the OnePlus event first, I believe. And then after the OnePlus event, we'll have the Google Pixel event. So it's about to get lit. Look, it's Techtober coming. Techtober is coming. Then you have the Mate 30. Techtober is coming, y'all. There's going to be a lot of phones releasing in October. Every year, we got two or three major releases in Techtober. So get ready for Techtober. It's going to, it ain't going to be nothing nice. The OnePlus event is next week. Okay. Um, the LGV30 is now getting Android Pie love. Oh, it's absolutely exciting times. Yeah, V30 getting that Pie love. Everybody else got to get that 10, but uh, it's good to see that uh, LG giving the V30 that pie love, man. Yeah, that pie love. Getting that pumpkin pie. Yeah, we get ready for tech. Yeah, it is exciting times. I'm excited. Like, I love technology, so I always get excited when we, we get new tech. All right, yeah. The P30 Pro... P30 Pro, uh, is coming out at the end of the month. Yes, Techtober. In every year, every year we go through Techtober. 
Yeah, we go to a tech tobe every year. Yeah, we go to tech tobe every year. So we good. I mean, we have some fun. Hey, if you go back and look at October of last year on my YouTube channel, God, y'all see me dressed up like Michael Myers, me coming through windows and all kinds of things. I did all kinds. I did a, um, I'm going to do another one this year. I did a Halloween video. Uh, you got to go see that Halloween video last year, man. Oh, man. I, I came out a window. I had the Michael Myers suit on. I was, I, I had the knife stabbing the, um, the Pixel 3. Go back and look at that stream. I was stabbing the Pixel 3 uh, with the knife. Oh, man. That was, uh, that was epic, man. If you want to see an epic Halloween video, I did one. First time ever I did a Halloween video where I was, I was dressed in Michael Myers overall and the mask on and I uh, had the green screen rolling in the background. And I was, it was, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. P30 Pro is already, you talking about the Mate 30, Pro, Mate 30. Are you streaming on Wi-Fi data? No, this is data. Look, it might be kind of stringy. Uh, I'm in the middle of a lot of Wi. We got a lot of Wi-Fi signals around here. Uh, yeah, I'm streaming on data. Uh, and I'm streaming on T-Mobile data network right now. So I don't know how good or how bad it is. Uh, I should have I should have used my Verizon, but you know, I got I got the T-Mobile rolling right now. Mm. Yes. Happy hour, baby. Woo! Mm. Ah, so good. It's so good, so good, so good, so good, so good. Ah. So, we got uh, Techtober coming. We got the, the May 30. Um, what y'all guys think about the Galaxy Fold? Hey, Galaxy Fold is out, man. People are unboxing them. They're playing around with it. Is it is the Galaxy Fold kind of old news right now? Like, you know, people unboxing it. I mean, you know, it's $2,000. You know, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I was on the fence, man. I'm God, man, it's like I wanna, I wanna give me one so bad, but it's like, why? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Yes, that 11 Max is still high price in Norway. 512 will cost you 180, 1887. How about that? God, that thing is expensive, man. Why do people think that the Mi 30 Pro? would not be another forgotten phone like every year. Uh, passing on the Galaxy Fold. I don't know, man. I think the Mate 30 Pro might do a little something this year. I think the, I think the, Mate, I think the Mate 30 Pro go do something this year. Yeah, the, the very old news. $2,000. Only the tech guards care about the, about the prototype device. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, do I pre-order... The 11 Pro Space Cray? Probably not. I wouldn't pre-order nothing. The phone come out Friday. I'm quite sure that you could get a, a Space Gray iPhone. Listen, it ain't like it was like years ago. Like, like you couldn't find a phone for days. People was camped out for, for months. Like, you remember how people was camped out for iPhones for like a month? Man, you don't have to. I think you could be, I think you'd be great. I think you could be great. You just walk right into your favorite carrier and just get an iPhone on launch day. I think you're going to be fine. Now, don't quote me on that, but I, I don't think it's going to be any inventory restraints with iPhones come Friday. I think come Friday, you can walk right into your favorite carrier, say, hey, listen, I want an iPhone Space Gray Pro, and like, all right, cool. Bam, done. Done. Yes, Tech Tobe, I need a T-shirt. <laughs> yes, I hear you, D-Lee. Uh, let's see. 
Has anyone told anyone told you I look like LL Cool J? Let me tell you something. People call me a lot of names. LL Cool J was not a name that they called me. Now, I've heard a lot of bad names. I heard a lot of terrible names. LL Cool J. I've heard. I've heard everything that they say I look like is not good. Uh, yes. Every other country dealing with tariffs um, and uh, value-added taxes. Listen, man, I, I, I think one of the reasons why we see these high prices right now is because of tariffs. Uh, you know, and I, I think it's going to get a lot worse before better, I think. Uh, we'd love to see the Galaxy Fold succeed uh, so they keep, keep pushing tech. Now, here's the thing. I, I, I also believe that, too. But we already heard rumor that the Galaxy Fold 2 is in the works. Now, since we talk about rumors, we also heard a rumor that the Galaxy S11 and the Galaxy Note, y'all hear me saying the Galaxy, the Galaxy Note is going to combine. And the Galaxy Fold will probably be where the Galaxy Note be in, in, in August. So the Galaxy Note 11 and the Galaxy Note uh, S11 will probably merge, put an S pen and call it the Galaxy S Note 11. I don't know. I don't know what they go call it, but yeah. Wait for the review to come out before spending your money. Yes. Certain models uh, and colors are selling out already. Okay. Wow. I made a video on Facebook about everybody querying about the, uh, the, the iPhone 4 when it come out. Uh, yeah. Get your official Easy Computer Solution mug. Yes. Get your official Easy Computer Solution mug at teespring.com. Hit the link. Holler at your boy. Go ahead on and get it. And when you do get it, send me a picture on social media. I will shout you out. Yes. Galaxy 4 has a plastic panel. Not appealing to me. Yes. What up with you, Prince? I see you in the building. I see you there. Yeah, Gauss. No. Cancel my iPhone 11 Pro Max pre-order today. Why? Genosis. Woo! Why you canceled it? Because you can just walk in the store and get it. <laughs> ah. So good. Woo! Ah, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. People, live life. You know, I always like to preach this type of stuff, live life. You know, what's cracking? Live life. I'm telling you, man, live life. If you're not living life, what you're living for? Apple should be ashamed for selling a phone for 64 gig. In, in 2019, I agree with you. But Apple, think about it like this. If you're going to buy a 64 gig iPhone, if you keep buying it, they're going to keep selling it. If you keep buying it, they're going to keep selling it. That's how they roll, man. Hashtag live life. Yes. What up with you? I see you in the building channel, Daniels. Uh, now we're feeling the gold color. I'm rethinking the green or the black. I love the uh, eight, what, eight zero zero eights, eight thousand eights. I don't know what that means, Tom Tom. I don't know what that means. Google going to be brave and do 64 gig too. You know what? I, I, I'm, 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 I'm with you on that one. I think, I think Google gonna do the same thing. If Apple do it, Google gonna do it. They gonna give you 64 gig. I'm telling you. Watch what I tell you. Google gonna give you a 64 gig phone, man. I, I think a lot of people think that Google ain't gonna do it. I think Google gonna do it, man. I think Google gonna do it. You know, say inside joke. I don't know the joke, time time. I don't know. I don't know the joke, man. I, I don't know. Eight zero zero eight. Yeah, I, 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 I hear you. I hear you. Hit me up. Hit me up in my DMs. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
I could pull 64 gigs on a two uh, <laughs> cloud cloud user. Yeah. No 10 is killing the game. Yes. Yes. One plus seven. Hold on. Let me go back up. One plus seven, 500 in UK. What could possibly beat it for that price? Nothing. I, hey, I'm with you. Hey, I'm with you. I, I, I got them both. I'm with you. So if y'all didn't know, I'm streaming on the Galaxy, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and I got my new Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So I got two of them. Got two Galaxy Note 10 Pluses. Two. Two. Two for the price of one. I got two. So I got my second Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Uh, let's see. I think the 64 iPhone is a marketing plot. Ploy, you say ploy uh, for teenagers uh, or parents that want to buy their kids the newest iPhone. Well, you got to think about it. They got th things like iPhone forever and stuff like that. And if, if you don't flex lease and all that from Sprint and all these other places, they got like iPhone forever. All they do is just keep trading up, trading up, trading up, trading up. Yeah. 128 gigs or 256 should be the base storage for a premium phone. Yes, the Galaxy Note 10 proved that. The Galaxy Note 10 proved that. 256 gigs. What's up with you? I see you. Yo. I see you in the building. I see, I see you, Royal. I drink a lot of Crown Royal. What's up with you? Yes. Good answer, Easy. Yes, I agree. How much does it cost uh, a company to put add more storage? Probably not a lot, man. Not, not listen when they buying it in bulk storage like that. A few pennies at best. Going from sixty four to two hundred and fifty six on one twenty eight. Think about it. Goo, Apple killed the one hundred and twenty eight gig base storage. They killed it. Why did why you think they did that? You know what I'm saying? It don't cost them that much, man. Yes. Yo, easy. Send me one uh, of your extra LG phone. Hey, let me tell you something. I use my LG phones a lot. I, 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 it's hard to give up an LG phone because it does so good for me, man. I love LG phone for filming. That really looks sweet. Check out the video. If y'all have, haven't seen the video, I just dropped a video like an hour before I came on the stream uh, of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus Red. Check it out. Check it out. I just, I just dropped a video about it. Uh, let's see. OnePlus is selling a 6T, 128 gigs for $599. That's hey, I, I, Great phone, man. Great phone. $599. Psh, 845. Wait. 845, like 12 gigs of RAM in that thing. Like 845, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs. What, what more do you need? 845 could be a good processor for at least two more years. Mm. How do you get the Red Note 10? Um, it's a, it's, it's a, I'm going to say it in a short story. Somebody that don't want me to acknowledge them um, bless me with a, uh, with a note 10. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, it, it's a lot, it's a li little more involved, but, um, but yeah, I, I, I yeah. This the K20 Pro. Apple has 128 X-ray model though. Yeah, they have the uh, X. They have the uh, the X the, the R XR. They got the XR. Yes, XR. When will all the postpaid carriers use eSIMs? I don't know. I don't know. Uh no notification. Sorry about that big house production. Saw the video. 
nice cinematography. Look, let me tell you something. I, 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 I thought about, I thought about that. Like, I really thought about when I did that. Um, like I said, I'm the producer. I'm the filmmaker. I, I have to come out with a lot of thoughts when I make videos. Um, iPhone 10 Plus or iPhone 11 Pro. Well, long home, I can tell you, if you're an iOS fan, go for iPhone. If you a, if you are an Android fan, go for the Note 10 Plus. It's like it's hard. Like most people that's iPhone fans, they go automatically go iPhone 11. Uh, it's hard to convert diehard Apple fans to Android. It's very difficult. I want the latest and greatest. I hear you. This dumped uh, my iPhone X. 10s max last week for the white Woo! yes sir welcome to the welcome to the light side what's up with your big house mark t's in the building uh, i have to say it again i wish that the central phone came out with new phone i agree i want a new central phone oh man oh man i i i oh uh, yeah ah uh. Oh man, yeah. It's just no tin skin as it came out of the factory like that. Now nah, I skinned up. Yeah, it's skinned up. They don't have a red official red uh, Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Uh, this one here, somebody somebody skinned it, customized it for me, and they sent it to me. Yes, somebody customized it and they sent it to me. It was sealed in the box. Open the box. I didn't know what color it was. The box, like it was white, but when I took it out the box, it was red. It wasn't a mistake. It was it was intentionally done. Yeah, so, yeah, when I took it out the box, it was red. Uh, YouTube gave me a survey about this stream before I was able to watch it. Really? Uh, this stream is useful, informational, uh, and star rating. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I, if y'all guys get a survey about my stream, please make sure you give me all five stars. Thank you. E, I need screen protector for the, for my Note 10 and its suggestions. I, you know what? Don't do don't don't use white stone dome. Uh, th th that's my suggestion. At, at point second point is, once you pull off the plastic screen protector on there, um, they got a lot of YouTubers that made videos about glass screen protectors. I don't know. I haven't put a I haven't put a glass screen protector on my notes yet. Shame on me if I drop them, but I haven't I haven't put it on my note yet. I haven't I haven't done it. I like both iOS and Android. Yes, sir. Um, I'm just glad Andy Rubin is still updating their Centrophone. Yes, uh, the Centrophone got that got Android 10. I'm praying for a new Centrophone. Yes. I went from the uh, iPhone XS Max to a Pixel 3 AXL, then bought the Note 10. My favorite phone of 2019 is the Pixel 3A. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Five stars. Uh, we got you back, easy. Thank you, Digital Debt. 187. That's what I'm talking about. Ugh. Yes. Opting for warranties. Uh, over anything, one thousand dollars to have a peace of mind without a case or screen protector. Woo -hoo! You don't put a case or screen protector on it. Wow, you 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 good man. Well, y'all remember when that center phone first came out? It was pretty bad, but over time and updates, it got good. And now with Android ten, it's really good. And guess what? You could pick up an essential phone for like what? 110 bucks. Look at all the bass coming out that car. God, he got speakers. Oh, he got speakers all over the thing. He got hydraulics and everything. Yeah, who who you who still got hydraulics, dog? That's like really old school. I just saw a car, old school car, right? He had speakers all in the back. Remember, like back in the day? When you had all the woofers all in your all in your ears, you had a whole box of speakers all in the back. Then he got hydraulic. So when he passed you by just now, all you heard, was shh, 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 shh. yeah, 
that hydraulics is like the nineties, dog. I mean, in two thousand, I, I haven't saw many cars with hydraulics on it. But back in the nineties, back when you was uh we was listening to uh, Biggie Small and Tupac, when you would listen to Biggie Small and Tupac, that's all you heard hydraulics and speakers and everything. I don't know what's going on now. Yes, Big House Production, a central phone, hundred bucks. The South Side with hydraulics, yeah. I'm telling you, man. The show, Android ten justice are just like the iPhone. Well, you know that's how that's how it was. That's how it was, man. Apple and 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 uh, I and Android is doing the same thing. Apple and Android are doing the same thing. The central uh, phone is a new Obama phone. Nah, man, a central phone. Well, you know, yeah, okay. I, I, it can be the Obama phone. It could be, you know, boss. You know what I'm saying? It could be boss hog. I ain't tripping. Boys in the hood days. Yeah, man. Those were the days, man. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Look, man, I'm telling you, baby, going through the 90s, bruh, even the early 2000s before Katrina, bruh, those were the days. We had fun, bruh. I don't know what's going on now, bro. You know, these things are totally different now back in the, you know, back in the Jeep, man. We sit, we could sit outside in our front porch, you know what I'm saying? Listen to some, some Tupac, sit back, you know, drinking some OE. Yeah, I used to drink some old English. If y'all didn't know, I used to sit back and drink some old English or some Heineken's, sit back on the front porch, chill. You know what I'm saying? Come home from school, play some ball. You know what I'm saying? Get with the ladies. You know, man. You know, it, it, that was the days, man. You know, in, in school, we used to eat hamburgers every day. That was hot lunch. We had cold lunch and hot lunch, hamburgers. Then the cold lunch was something else. We eat hamburgers every day. You know what I'm saying? That's, man. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Man, those were the days. You know, we used to watch Sound for the Sun at 10 o'clock at night. From 10 to 10.30, Sound for the Sun. Then 10.30, 11, you got George uh, Jefferson. You know what I'm saying? The Jeffersons. Two of my favorite thing, shows that come on every night. Used to watch that. Then on Saturdays, we, after I cut the grass, I watched Tommy Jerry all day on the Saturday morning. You know what I'm saying? Tommy Jerry all day on the Saturday morning. For sure. Uh, history repeat, repeats itself. What? Oh, English. Yeah, man. Oh, E. Yeah, it was fun before 9 11. Yes. Easy. You hear soon Google is uh, something's called Fast Shore. Fast Shore. Uh, you know what? It's like airdrop. I've heard that. I've heard that there's going to be some proprietary. Uh, stuff going on that is going to mimic airdrop. That'll be wonderful. They're going to use NFC, I believe. Uh, and I think this, uh, well, can you do that now with, with NFC? If you touch two, like the Galaxy phones, right? If you put two Galaxy phones next together, you can transfer contacts. Uh, you can transfer music. You can do that now with Galaxy phones, right? I think right now you can do that with Galaxy phones. You can do transfer and contacts and, and music and stuff like that. Okay, you think it's bad. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you can actually do that now. I think that Android is going to put that protocol in and it's going to be, you know, all around. What's up, John? In the building. Hmm. I see you. Yes. 50,000 subscribers. Somebody said they want me at 50,000 subscribers by November. That's 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 like what two weeks? Wait, October? No, that's that's a month, month and a half. Let's let's root for it. November first, fifty thousand subscribers. Uh, I got the money to buy the Note Ten Plus, but I am not throwing my money away. It's is it worth it? Well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Down in the comments, do you think that the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is worth it? 10, uh, 1100 bucks. Now, here's a question for you. What phone do you currently have? Uh, 
uh, that's one question. Uh oh, what phone do you currently have? Uh, and are you a tech enthusiast? What I mean by tech enthusiast, do you like to use every feature? Do you like to use Dex? Do you use S Pen? Listen, man. First of all, everybody in this building, if you got a Galaxy Note 10, why are you not using the S Pen? Why are you not, uh, you know, uh, using the S Pen and S Pen features? I got videos on how to use the S Pen. The S Pen is the most phenomenal thing on the planet. Listen, the S Pen could do so much. Y'all, I got videos on everything that the S Pen and S Note, right? S Note. I have... Uh, I made my, my logo. Let me see if I can show y'all guys this. I made my logo with the Note uh, Note 9. I made my logo with the Note 9. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, uh, it's not sync. S Note. All right, let me go to S Note. Yes. S Note, S Note, S Note, and... Survey says I don't see it. YouTube, da da da. I'm trying to show y'all guys. And look, the good thing about S Note is that it carries on everything from my older note. Ah, uh, let's see. Do 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 do. Category. Let's see. All right. So something like that. You create, I created my own logo, right? I created my logo right from my note. I did my whole business logo from my note. Um, it's fantastic. If you're not using the note, and I'm, I'm trying to see uh, what my business logo. All right, so here we go. I got one of my logos. I did this a long time ago. Like, I did this logo right here on my Galaxy Note, right? So I, I, I designed my entire logo on a Note. Not a computer, but my Galaxy Note. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you could do a lot of stuff on your Galaxy Note. So if you're not using the S Pen, if you're not using the S Pen, I would say go with a S10 or something like that. Right, let me go back up. I did ask the question. Uh, let me go back up because I, I, I know I asked the question. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go back up. I want to go to the point where uh, I asked you the question. Hell yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let me let me see if uh, I currently have the Note Eight. My son broke the screen. All right, so let's check this out. If you got a Note 8, that means you're a Note person. Two things. Get a Note 9. Cheaper, you get a Note 9 slightly slightly used for about 450 bucks. Or get the Note 10. I, that's my recommendation. I, I do understand the price too high, but the Note 9 is a phenomenal device. Uh, let's see. Hey, easy. Kyle Barnes will be coming to the Mercedes Superdome, but Drew Brees won't be there. Hey, man. I, 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 our season done. But the who that boys, man. Listen, man. I, first of all, I don't understand why they don't put Hill in, right? Hill to me is the best quarter backup quarterback we got. Man, on this clown, that's uh. Listen, I don't want to talk about it, bro. I don't want to talk about it. I love my little ten. Yeah. Um. I do use S Pen, and I like it. Uh. It's. But uh, but it's not uh, heel over head about it. Yeah, what's up with you? Break point in the building. Uh, I love my Note phones. Love the Note Ten Plus. I am a social media uh, phone user. I don't need all the extras. I would never do one thousand dollars for a phone. I do yesteryear's tech. Yes, exactly. Think about this: the Galaxy Note Ten this time next year will be four hundred bucks. Think about that. The Galaxy Note 9 right now is 400 bucks. That means the Galaxy Note 10 next year will be 400 bucks. It's going to be like 60% of its value. I mean, 60% off. It'll be 40% of its value next year. 
Yeah, I would agree with you. Should you get it for the battery life alone? Battery life is, is subjective. Uh, and look, for everybody in the building, when you got your Galaxy Note 10, go into your screen settings and put your screen on 1440p. Remember that the Galaxy Note 9, Galaxy Note 10, S10, all those out of the box is set at 1080p. They all set at 1080p. If you want to get that nice crisp look of your Galaxy device when it comes down to the screen technology, you have to go into the display and you have to change it to 1440p. You got to change it. If you take your phone out the box, it's set at 1080p. 1080p, people, change the screen, screen resolution so you can get that pop, that high resolution. Why buy a Galaxy Note with a 1440p screen and you got it set at 1080p? I ain't worried about no no battery life. I right, listen, I want I want to use the Galaxy Note for what it is. I want to use it for, for its full potential. I'm putting it on 1440p. Without a doubt. I don't care about what no battery life. I ain't I ain't trying to save no battery life. I want to use a phone for what it is. Uh when I use other phones, I always uh, reach for the S Pen. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like the S Pen is, is definitely um great. I'm definitely gonna check out the video. I got a lot of videos about the S Pen. A lot of videos. I need the S Pen like, uh, like like I need a split screen. Yes, eBay, eBay, uh, got the Note 10 Plus for eight hundred eight thirty. That's what I'm saying. There it is. Uh, at three months from now, it's gonna be six hundred bucks. And if you wait till twenty twenty when the S eleven come out, you gonna get it for five hundred or four hundred. The the Note 10 price gonna drop big time. Forbes, man. Forbes, do you agree with me, Forbes? Why they don't put the heel in there? Why they, man, bruh, bruh, why they don't have Hill as a primary quarterback, bruh? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, we know. Oh, uh, we know all that. Yeah, we the Saints are done. What's happening? Ah, uh, just switch your team to the Rave is easy. Hey, look, man. Nah, player. I'm I'm gonna be a Saints fan. It, it, when they win or they lose, I'm gonna be a Saints fan, no matter what. I agree. Saints are done. Uh, uh, he look. Breeze out for six weeks. That, uh, look, man. If why they don't put Hill in there? Bridgewater, bro. Come on, man. I'm looking at Bridgewater play. And I'm like, oh my God, bro. It's like, man, this dude like he 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 not reading, he's not reading the plays or something ain't right, bro. It's like I, I the guy like he gets sacked. It's Bridgewater, bro. We we putting our whole team on Bridgewater. Man, come on, bro. Uh, man, let me tell you something about Hill. He'll go do two things. He'll go look for his check downs or he'll go run it. And, he, you know, if, if, if he'll get wide open and run, he's he taking it to the house. They always put Hill in for, tr for trick plays. And he always delivered. And when they put uh, Hill in for preseason, he always delivered. Then all of a sudden, we got Bridgewater. And you let Bridgewater play the whole game. And I, I, mind-boggling to me, bro. My, listen, I don't, I, I don't know, bro. It, it's mind-boggling. Bridgewater. Ah. Man. But yeah, Bridgewater. Weak on. Scared to run. Yeah, man, bro. Oh. Bruh. Bridgewater. <laughs> uh, that's why I, hey, hey, seven, I, I understand seven million, but still, I, I, I would say put your best players in, though. You see what I'm saying? Go Ravens, new era. Nah, player. I, I, I look, I, I still, I still got, I still got to go with my Saints. Look, I, I'm cool with that. We ain't gonna have a good season this year. We already know. ESPN, look, 
ESPN to ESPN been talking about the Saints for the last two days. They already got stats saying that the, the Saints ain't going nowhere. It's going to be terrible. They already got, I, I watch ESPN, I'm shaking my head like they already got the stats. They say, with Breeze and without Breeze. Bruh, we can't win a game. Like, damn. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, well, guys, another happy hour in the books. Another happy hour in the books. I like sitting back, relaxed, man. Living life. Y'all go hear me say this a lot. If you're not living life, what you living for? You work on the job all week, every day. You get a paycheck every week, every two weeks, and you're not having fun with your life. Why? That's, that, that, that's the ultimate question I want y'all guys to think about. First, first of all, I want y'all to give it to 50,000 subscribers. I need that. Thank you. But think about if you're not living life, why are you living? What you living for? A paycheck, a paycheck, the pay the, the pay the man. You living a pay the man. You think about, okay, I can't take a day off because my paycheck will be short. If my paycheck will be short, then I can't pay my bills. <laughs> Bruh. That means you living above your means. That means that your bills are costing you more than what you need. Listen, if you don't have 15, 20% of your paycheck every time you get paid, then something you doing ain't right. Screw with it. Man, listen, man. I, think about this. If, it, if, if an emergency thing happened like a, like a hurricane, Hurricane Katrina in down south woke a lot of people up. Like, a hurricane, a hurricane, a national disaster where you have to take your family. Think about this, people. You got to take your family and get them safe. That means your family is going to rely on you to make sure that they're safe. They make sure that they got a hotel room to stay in. Make sure they fed. Make sure they got enough gas in the tank. Make sure everything is done. You got to be the one to do that. How you going to do that when you don't have no money after you get paid? How you going to do that when you don't have no money to, after you get paid? You ain't got no money. That means you got to change. Something got to change. Think about that. You know, a lot of people say, well, I need four new tires on my car. So I have to wait for four paychecks and take one, uh, uh, one tire at a time for every paycheck. Now, think about this. You get paid every two weeks. You mean to tell me for you to get four tires on your car, you have to wait 10 weeks? You think your car care if you get paid or not? You think your car go, go care if you got bald head tires and you're trying to wait 10 weeks to buy four tires? I talk about this a lot uh, when it comes down to, uh, you know, taking care of business. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, but I like to I like to leave y'all guys with a final word, and that's the final word. I look, I got a uh, podcast coming out. I got to get ready for a podcast. Um, uh, get that, and we go we go do our thing on speaker. So if you don't follow me on speaker, you go get my podcast. But and look, I am now uploading my content to Spotify. Yes, it's going to be on Spotify. Soon, I already got the account. I actually uploaded one already. I got a lot of stuff to upload to Spotify. You will have the tech preacher content on Spotify. Yes, I am so happy about that. I am so happy about that. I am so happy about that. Yes, wow. All right, guys. Thank y'all guys very much for watching the channel. Uh, be on the lookout for all my new videos. If you are members only, uh, I dropped a video already. I think I did. Uh, check it out. Uh, uh, and uh, go from there. I really appreciate it. Thank y'all guys very much. And uh, I will see y'all tomorrow. Don't forget about Wired Wednesday. It goes down on Wired Wednesday. Uh, 
and it's happy hour. So thank y'all. Mm. I will see y'all. Peace out, baby. Woo! Thank y'all very much. Da da da. Thank y'all very much. Easy.